one of the things that's happening across the electric industry, it's, it's no doubt that, that we're, as a industry, we've been somewhat analogous to a mainframe. You know, we've had large scale generation, you know, and all of the control at the generation level, more so, you know, and, you know, the ideal that, you know, load and the customer's behavior is just what it is, and you just design generation systems at a large scale to meet that, that need instantaneously. And uh, now, in the last several years, uh, we're seeing a, a trend towards distributed assets throughout the network, whether it's a renewable asset such as solar. I think we'll see more uh, storage uh, in the ideal of truly integrating load into those, into the system. So, you know, and... To me, the, the convergence of communications electric is critical to that because without that convergence of how do these different devices all integrate together and how do they work together, not for a sub-optimized solution, but for the good of the, the whole, without that ability to converge and integrate those together, it doesn't, it doesn't work. You know, uh, you know, that's why you've seen places in our country where you see a, you get a certain volume of distributed assets and then it plays havoc on the whole system. You know, if I think of it a little bit like a uh, orchestra, you know, if all of the instruments are just playing independently of each other, then it, it doesn't sound very pleasing. It doesn't, doesn't work. If all of a sudden they're all playing, you know, the same sheet of music, playing in a row where a conductor is guiding that, then it becomes something that's pleasing and effective and good. I think that's what happens when you integrate communications and synchronize all of these different things. And I think that's where we have to go as an industry. We have to move not from the mainframe system to standalone PCs. We have to move all the way to an interconnected system like the internet that works together. 